Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Hi, Kyla. How are you? I'm good. How are you? And I want to make sure I get this right. It's Kia. Kaya. <laughs> Kaya. All right. I want to make sure I got it right before we go on air, and here we go. Good day, and welcome back to the Valder Beebe Show as I wrap up my Friday getting ready for the weekend. I've got two young ladies who are going to help you. Hopefully they've been helping you on Young and Pregnant on Teen Mom. I've got Kyla and Kia. They're here to talk about the new season on Teen Mom. Ladies, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Hi. Hi. Having us. Kyla, I'm going to start with you and just a little bit of backstory about uh, you. I think you've got a proposal, or Luke decided to propose to you. And the people that ha- don't watch this, it might be a little bit hard for them to follow what we're saying. But I want to know if you're going to make the tough realization that you two are better off together or apart. Yes, you will see at the um, end of the season that we do come to a conclusion whether or not we should work out our issues or just go our separate ways and co-parent. That's a big decision in life, especially when you have kids involved. Okay, Kia, you know, uh, you've got some big decisions on the show ahead of you. Your child's father is coming home, I understand, for prison. How yes. will this put pressure on you and, and, and disrupt a relationship you currently have? Um, him coming home doesn't really affect the current status of me and Tiaza. Um, it is nerve-wracking, though. I'm not going to lie and say that it, it's not nerve-wracking. It is very nerve-wracking. Uh, my whole life dynamic changed when he got out. I now have to share my son Um, and it's just, it was a lot on me mentally, even up to preparing for it. So you guys will see a lot of that, the me trying to prepare myself mentally for the day that he actually does come home. But, um, I can say that it has been way better than I expected though. Okay. That's a good thing. Uh, Kia, if I can ask you, I know you're under probably 25. This is real adult drama though that you have in your life. How do you handle this? Honestly, I don't know, <laughs> cause I'm like it's literally some days I wake up I'm like like I'm just tired. Like I don't want to deal with none of this anymore. It's just like I always have a lot going on, and I never really feel like I ever have that moment to just like grasp peace or like grasp life. So it does get difficult. So like I don't know how I deal with it. I just tell myself I have to deal with it, and I have to be strong because I have to be okay for a more. And for myself, not only for Amor, but I have to be okay for me, too. Okay. If I can ask you finally, Kayla, do you guys get advice from from parents or cl- close relatives? And I'm not talking about your peers because they probably are on the same level with you. Do you guys get advice how to handle these complex situations in life? Yeah, I mean, my mom and dad definitely give me a lot of good advice on how to handle these situations. Unfortunately, Luke and I also get some not good advice from um, his family because I would say they're on the same maturity level as us, but we do have some positive role models elsewhere. Yeah, I saw that you're having a little contention in your relationship with Luke's family. How's that going to play out on the upcoming season? Yeah, um, unfortunately, it leads to a lot more drama with his family and I. There are some new issues that come up they really did some things that I just can't respect and don't want my children around so once you bring like my kids into it you're basically done for me well girls this new season coming up is there anything you want to pre-warn us about just, just stay a tuned <laughs> a lot of ups and downs and drama like it's gonna be a wild ride 
Yeah, just stay tuned. We I think this season is one of the greater seasons that we have. We're all like in like, I guess you could call it like our prime. So we're trying to figure things out. There's a lot going on constantly. Okay, it sounds like it. Just from this interview, I can't wait to see the full scope of MTV's Teen Mom, Young and Pregnant. And Kyla and Kaya, they're going to be at center of many of the stories that you get to see. Ladies, I want to thank you so very much. I'm so glad I'm not you because you guys have a lot of drama. And I can tell you, drama is not always fun. Have a great morning. Uh, thank you so much. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcast, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB's Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next Beebe Summer Book Giveaway.